Hello everybody, my name is Whisper and welcome to another tutorial video. Um, today's, as per the request of one of my followers on Instagram, is to show how to um, download and install liveries for DCS. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is download something called 7-zip. Actually, let's search that here. Um, and come here. I'm not going to show you exactly how to download this right now. It's just download for your operating system that you have um, and just follow the instructions to install it. Um, it's really easy. Um, so what we're going to do is come to the DCS website. It's this year, www.digitalcombatsimulator.com. Go there. Um, once you get here to this home page, come over here to the drop down menu um, under downloads. Go down and click on user files. This will take you to all these. You can um, search for various different things, skins, missions, to, um, static templates, mods, etc. Um, language, um, the unit that it's for, whatever. Um, so these are the ones that are new today. It gets updated pretty much every day. Um, there's a lot of really excellent livery creators. Um, so I found this one earlier that we're going to be downloading today. Um, this VMFA All Weather 224 uh, Hornet livery by this guy, Leahy. Go download all of his liveries because they're all amazing. Um, so you just want to click download here. And this might take a minute or two. It depends on the size of the file. Um, in the meantime, open up File Explorer if you're on Windows. Go to your download section. And we're just going to wait here for this to... Um, for this to finish downloading. So I'll come back in just a second when that's done. All right, so this finished downloading, what we're gonna do is click on this and then right click. For me, have show more options. Um, find 7-zip here, come over, click extract files, hit okay. Now we have this file here we can open and you can click on that. You see all of the DTS files and the, the description Lua for all the textures and everything. We're going to do left control C and copy that. We're going to come over to your um, whatever drive your main directory for DCS is. Go to that. DCS open beta for me. It might just say DCS world for you. Um, come down here for core to core mods. This is what where you're going to be installing most deliveries for um, like the Strike Eagle, the Hornet, the Tomcat, the A10, the F16, and so on and so forth. Um, I think the Flaming Cliffs liveries, I think those are in a different area, um, but typically you're going to be downloading these then. So anyway, come to this folder, click double click on aircraft, scroll down to find yours. If you don't have this folder, by the way, um, in core mods and aircraft, well, you should have all of these for you. You might not have all these, but it depends on the live ones that you have, the modules you have. So ours is for a Hornet. So click on the F-18 one. You should have a liveries folder. You will, I think. Um, I don't think that one's ever missing. It shouldn't be. Anyway, um, go here and click on the FA-18C Hornet. And then you have all your liveries that we have. Left control and V. Paste that in here. And now it's installed. So we can just boot up the game real quick. I'll pause and just wait until I have it loaded. All right, so now we have DCS loaded up. Um, we can come and look at our livery in either in the mission editor, you should see it if you've installed it correctly, or if you're in a mission or in a multiplayer server, when you go and change your livery, you should see it there. So go mission editor, create new mission, just load one up so that we can look at it and see my custom loading screen and everything that I put in here. I might do another tutorial on how to create custom backgrounds. It's really straightforward. It's just replacing some files. Um, once again, I'm pause and let this load because it takes a minute. All right, now we're in the mission editor. We can come over to the left side, add an airplane. Um, where's our Hornet? I'm not going to do a full-on tutorial how to do mission editor. I'm going to do another video on that. Um, we just go here, and then we can scroll down and find our new one, which I don't actually know what it was. We have FA-224, maybe? Um... Here it is. So here's our new livery that we just installed, and you can go and um, put in all of your your ordnance. You can set up whatever loadouts you want, change side number, 
Uh, I think if it's they're not on the boat, they probably have side number like that. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you found this um, useful, helpful, whatever. Um, if you did, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. And so that you can see more videos like this in the future. Um, in the meantime, I hope you have a good one. And I hope I'll see you in the next video.